In this video, I will show you how to install MongoDB and RoboMongo. First thing, you go to mongodb.com and download Mongo Community Server. I will show you how to install Mongo from a Mac, but the process to install in Linux is practically identical. And for Windows, it's very similar too. I will tell you the differences while I proceed with the installation on my Mac. Once MongoDB download is complete, double click the file to extract MongoDB. On Windows, you just start the installer and follow the instruction, choosing to install the complete version when the installer will ask you the question. In Mac, you just rename the folder to something easier to remember. I'm calling it just Mongo and then drag and drop to your user directory. Both in Mac or in Windows, the directory you have to keep in mind is the bin folder. Inside the bin folder you find a bunch of uh, Mongo executables. The most important one is MongoD. In fact, MongoD is the file you need to run in order to start MongoDB server. Before you start MongoDB server for the first time, you need to create a directory where all your MongoDB databases will be saved. I'm creating this folder inside my Mongo directory so I can find it easily in case I forget the name. And I'm calling it DBS, but it's up to you how you want to name yours. At this point, I need to go inside the bin folder and run mongod from there. The command to start the server is dot slash mongod dbpath and the absolute path of the database folder you just created. Try to remember this command as you need to run it every time you will start your server. At this point your server should start and you should see the message saying waiting for connection on port 2717. If you get something else telling for instance that your Mongo server was shut down just check you specify the correct path of your database. If instead you get a message saying something like uh, command not found, make sure you're launching MongoD from the bin folder. Now that your server is on, we can continue and install RoboMongo. RoboMongo is a free graphic user interface to manage your databases. Without it, you should create and manage your databases from your terminal window and that's not really handy. Now, go to robomongo.org and download RoboMongo. Installation is easy and straightforward. Once you're done, you can open RoboMongo. RoboMongo will display the list of all MongoDB servers you are connected to. We didn't connect to any server yet, so click to create and call your connection whatever you like. Our MongoDB is running locally, so the default address and port are correct. Just click on save and then on connect. And now you can access to all your MongoDB databases stored in your local DB. We didn't create any database yet, so you won't find anything special in here. In the next video, we will create a database and we will learn how to run CUDA operation in MongoDB.